Well, good morning. Steve from Mud Ducks Hall Drive Touring. Just getting ready to go camping at the Drifter Fans Camping Event this weekend. So, just about to start packing the cruiser. And uh, we'll get into it. Right, well, I didn't show you me packing the back of the truck, because what do you want to see me packing it for? This is what it looks like so far. Now it's only a weekend away with the camper trailer, so that's the very back of it packed up. We usually have a third box about where the drill bag is here, but for this trip we don't need it. We keep daily food supplies in those two boxes. They come with us on day trips. The fridge is in there as you can see. And that's the back of it at the moment. The inside is not that loaded up. Got some spare drink supplies, sat phone, stuff like that. We are taking the camper trail this weekend, so that'll be next out of the uh, the shed. So we'll move on to that bit. Right, we're pretty well packed. Just got to unplug the trailer from the household power. And do a few finishing touches, we'll be on our way shortly. Back of the truck's not very full. We're going to have passages tomorrow, so I want to keep it so it's fairly empty. Most of that'll be in the camper. Camper's loaded, connected. See, this is why we walk around with a camera, so I can remember to do jobs. Wind this up, baby. Not that it go anywhere, but yeah, it's not very tidy. Got to plug the Anderson plug in. I've just left it unplugged while I'm still on it on the 240. Trailer's hooked, ready to go. We haven't got a good snow peak fire pit yet, so we're just taking our one from home. That'll do for this weekend. So we're pretty well ready to rock. Uh, Kaz is just doing some plugging in of stuff. Uh, what are you up to, Kaz? I'm uh, just plugging in so we can charge the GoPros on the fly, as well as uh, my, my phone. Cool. We haven't got a USB in here yet. No, uh, I've, I've, I've been a bit slack. <laughs> I've got to get my act together. All right, guys. That's about it. We'll We'll get going and we'll, we'll see you up there. Well, we're on the road. It's a little bit after 9am. About an hour and a half later than I was going to be, but hey, well, you get that. Had a bit of a sleep in this morning and then got organised. It is a weekend off after all, so why not? I reckon we've got about an hour and a half before we get the drifter, and about another hour after that, and we should be up at the camp. So we'll be there before lunch, so it won't be too bad. We are ducking into a drifter store this morning. We're going to have a quick look at a couple of canvas bags. So, uh, yeah, not a lot to tell you about at the moment. The Drifter Fans camping event. Hopefully, I'll uh, shoot some footage. Well, obviously, I'll shoot some footage. Stupid question, really. Uh, not sure what I'm going to get. Kaz hates it when I say that. But the reality is, I may just do some campsites. I might interview some people. I'm hoping to interview some people this time and perhaps do a walk around somebody's camper or their car or both or all and there is a drive involved so um, hopefully we get some footage of that Alright guys, we'll talk to you in a few hours I might do a little tiny bit of video at the Drifter store but I'm pretty sure most of you have seen Drifter videos before so I probably won't do too much there Hey guys, sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the trip, have a good one We've just passed through Gloucester. I didn't film the Drifter store. I was going to, but I forgot the camera, left it in the car, so no big deal. I think a lot of you on my channel have seen Drifter on various other videos around the traps. But just before we pulled up, the bloody Polaris head unit decided to have a heart attack. It just made a whole big digital noise and went stupid and stopped playing the radio and the navigator part of it stopped. So we've tried to get it recalibrated and going again. It doesn't want to play. So at the present time I've got a blank screen, no music. I'm not happy. But anyway, uh, that's how it is. Kaz is trying to figure out how to fix it trying to see if she can work it out on the interweb before we run out of reception. That's the other thing, of course, we're heading out of Gloucester. And I'm not going to sit around where I've got reception for an hour just to fiddle with the stereo. I want to get up there and get the camp set up. So we may be without a stereo 
which also means we'd be without that part of a navigation screen, which bugs the crap out of me. But anyway, uh, first world problems, I suppose, but still, uh, we're going to have to try and figure it out now. And the Polaris has had intermittent issues off and on in the time we've owned it, but this is a new one. Anyway, uh, we will hopefully get it rectified. Kaz is way more patient than me. I wind up putting a hammer through the screens. So I'm just going to let Kaz play with it. Because, uh, yeah, that would be bad if I had to mess around with it. All right, guys. We'll, uh, we'll see you out there and I'll get camp set up and give you a look at that. Well, we got here. This is the Drifter camping event so far. It's Friday afternoon. Give you a quick look at our campsite. That's our camper, Kaz working in the kitchen there. The truck's just sitting here. The truck will, could be anywhere later. It's only just there after we set up. That's our fire, wood, solar. And just a view of the general population at the moment. I'll give you all a better look at this a little bit later on. I'm about to have some lunch. I just thought I'd give you a quick look how we set up so far. Had some lunch, going for a walk around. Give you a quick look at what we've seen so far. Lots of people still coming in. There'll be lots more to come in over the course of a day. So, we're not camped too far away from the main guts of what's going on at Drifter. So, I'll show you bits and pieces as the day goes on, or as the weekend goes on. So, This year they've got a setup and some of their gear on display that you can actually buy if you want to. So I'm going to have a quick look at what there is to see. You walk up hard tops. The drifter shop. He's a made a power box out of an Eddie box. Just the display of their general goods here. A whole bunch. We've dripped the fire pits. And being the HQ section, you'd expect it'd be full of drifter campers, which of course it is. Very foggy here at Drifter this morning, what Camp Kobach, up in the mountains. Rain last night, so there wasn't a lot of action for us or for anybody else really. But uh, yeah, we're up early, going for a drive this morning. So just walking around the camp. Kaz is about to make breakfast. 
and we'll, uh, we'll see what we see. Well, here we go. familiar guys <laughs> very similar to us he's got muds on his nice Bad JQ either. Nice. A bit of a lineup happening up here. Some vehicles, all shapes and sizes. Well, we're all ready to go on this drive with Kaido this morning. So. All getting organised, I've had to go and pick Grant up. Give you a quick look at everybody. Here's Rob, well, world, world renowned Rob. Good morning, how are you? <laughs> so, well, the trip is half full of YouTubers, guys. There's four of us here. So, here's Kaido, the fearless leader. Our fearless leader for the day. Anything can and will happen with this man. Another 200. Anybody with a 200 series has got to be good. I might come and talk to you later. First time forward driving. Really? No, no, no. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. View the crowd. Here's Shad, another world famous YouTuber. <laughs> Have to be very fast today because otherwise I won't be ready when I need to be. Very quick run now. area just the start of the dirt and here we go on air it all down somehow I ended up on the tail oh well. buddy Hi. how are we going again right. you got the front are you done is done no. Nice. We have to get out and film everyone coming through, hopefully. Oh. That would be cool. As long as he doesn't go too far ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> to walk all the way and find where they want.
cheating. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. What I like about it, you don't have to play around with the valve and, yeah, and you don't get right. on your knees. Especially when you're hearing up. Yeah, yeah. Good old Storns. Yeah. How are? <laughs> yeah, good. How are you? We must be going off road again. Those two at once things look great. <laughs> I just yeah. saw Kaido and a couple others got them. Yeah, I've got to get one of those Indiflates. Indiflates, is that what they're called? That's what they're called. Just steal Kaido's, just knock him out. He won't notice. <laughs> beautiful day. I see it through the trees there. Sun's coming up. It's been a magical day. Rain all last night. Wake up to this. How beautiful have we got? Awesome. Should be an interesting day, that's for sure. Two tires to go. Woohoo! They're on our way. See you on the track. Saturday morning on the Drifter Feds camping event. We've gone for a drive. Today I've got a guest appearance in the back. I've got young Grant from Four Wheel Driving New South Wales. And you can probably see him, but you can't see Chloe who's behind me, I don't think, unless she leans to the left. So we've got a car full today, out running around in low range. There's been a recovery already. Shad's in front of us, who did the recovery in the car in front of him. Kaido's leading the trip like a champion. Rob from uh, Straight Four Drive Camping is out and about filming. And we're trying to film when we can, but we're the last one in the group, so we can't guarantee we're going to get much. But uh, it's a bit of a different day, especially when you've got YouTubers everywhere and half of us can't get out of our cars. Unbelievable. What do you think uh, about that, Grant? Nice. Grant doesn't think anything, so he said nothing. I think it's so through there. It's, it's awesome. Bottom, but yeah, Rocky has. What better way to spend a weekend than out in this beautiful countryside in low range with lovely people. It's fantastic. Like it Wouldn't be dead for quids. And, and Grant gets to experience the power of the 200 series as a change to his Vitara. It's almost as quick off the line as the Vitara too. Nearly, not quite. I might have to update one day. <laughs> Supercharge the Vitara, that'll be next. Oh, that, that just gets me thinking now. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see you guys further down the track. She's fully sick, Kate. <laughs> Going 
wait on this side of it and we'll warm it off. Yeah. Yeah, no, you have enough room. Oh, I'll just get, I'll get in there. Yeah. We'll make it. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Coming to another part of this track we've been doing. Really don't know the name of it. It's out of the Manning River Campground. We're going for a look to see what it's like. Kaido says it's a bit gnarly, so we'll go and check it out. We'll spin the camera around, see what we see. You never know what you're going to see in these places. This is not my nice stable GoPro 7 other other guys, it's having an issue today. So we're bouncing around on the GoPro 3. And Kaido's got this all wrong, just in time. Best. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Coming up next week, uh, there'll be a bit more mud driving and a bit more of the drifter event in general. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications, guys, and uh, we will see you all next week. Have a good one. Cheers. Ooh. Might have done that a bit more gently. <laughs>